Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Magic Square MSB34 Highway Overlord box set. This is the 2023 release, or re-release I should say, of Magic Square's Legend Scale Minasaur and Stunicons. It's a very nice set. It was actually my one of my 2021 top 10s. I really do love it. This is my third set for this now. Seems like I have a problem. Anyway, we're not going to be doing any transformations. Uh, if you want to see the transformations, check out the link right here. And uh, that's the full review of the original set. But we're going to start in robot mode, do comparisons with the original, go on to alt mode, and then combine mode. So, that being said, let's get into it. In the box, you do get a complete set instruction booklet. It's nicely done in Magic Square style with color indicators showing which part moves and when. It's, it does a good job of walking you through the various combined modes and all transformations. So, very nice inclusion. In the individual sets, you did get cards for each character. But in the box set, you only get the one card with the Overlord symbol box art on the front. As well as some nice schematic artwork on the back. I'm going to do my best to keep the box set items on the left and the original release items on the right. So in the box set, you do get leg covers for the toy version. And you can right off the bat see the matte finish on the new version as opposed to the shininess of the original. Both do look really good, but the matte version definitely has less irregularities, for lack of a better term. You can see a little bit of swirliness in the original. Same goes for the toy version chest mode. You do have the same silver detailing but the matte coating definitely provides less faults in the finish for example right here you have do have the swirls and they're not they're not visible on the matte version which really makes it come through nice and has a more finished feel to it now here is some of the scratching that people reported in the matte finish on the crotch piece. Not prevalent on the original, but is definitely obvious on the the matte vision, the matte finish. But one thing you're gonna notice throughout is the purple is definitely a brighter purple in a lot of and in a lot of cases more prevalent, which is the case here. Here we have the feet for the toy version, and right off the bat here, you can definitely see the, the difference in the shade of purple. More of a pastel coloration on the new, which it looks really good in my opinion. I prefer that over the original. And again, you have the, the faults in the plastic more prevalent. Probably the biggest difference in the box set is visible here. These are the, the shoulder covers for the, the toy deco. Whereas this is just a gray plastic, these are actually painted in a very nice silver. You can see the backside there is unpainted. But uh, definitely, definitely an improvement over the original. Here we have the toy deco heads. Same decoration as far as silver paint and red eyes. They both look really fantastic. But the black, it's really hard to show on camera, but if you look closely you can see the matte finish coming through less shine to it and less of the imperfections so that brings us to the weapons and there's not much difference to be honest here we have breakdowns rifle same detailing i can't even tell if there's any matte difference to be honest these still suffer from 
what I didn't like about them from the first place, the handle being in the middle rather than towards the back, which limits your your arm bend when they're holding their guns. Here we have a Wild Riders rifle. Again, exactly the same. I wish the handle was further back. Here's Drag Strips Blaster. Identical. Dead Ends Blaster. And finally, a Motormaster's Blaster. This is an example of where they didn't actually change the color of the purple. And here we have Motormaster's Sword. One could argue it's possible that the, the new version does have a bit of a matte finish on it, but if, if it is there, it's so minute that it's not even, not even worth comparison. And it appears to be a, a better mold because both of my previous versions have these dimples on the side of the sword, whereas this one does not. But both do share the same amazing looking silver paint. Here we have the combined mode blasters. Again, no difference. One might say that this one looks less shiny, but that's just my lighting, as you can see. So same, same plastic, same sprues. And last but not least, we do have the swords for combined mode. And I have to say, it does appear as though the new one does have a bit of a slight color shade difference, a little bit lighter. Might just be my old eyes, but I really do feel that way. So let me know what you think. And that brings us to the trailers. This is where you start to see obvious coloration differences. With this, the exam most, most prevalent example is the darker gray on the original trailer where it's much lighter on the new release. The purple is a slight shade brighter and lighter on the new version, but it's especially visible on the, the feet underneath, which we'll take a closer look at in combined mode. And then another noticeable difference on the new release, the rear bumper is painted silver as opposed to just gray plastic on the original. Starting with the bots now. We'll start with breakdown. Right off the bat, there's there's nothing really obvious that changes except looking at the chest, the blue definitely has a more detailed look to it. Uh, it appears more muted and for lack of a better term, blurry on the original. Still, they both look really good, but more detailing is prevalent on the matte, the matte version. I did have a scrape here, but it's very minor. You can't really see it until you get up close. So it's not a huge concern. Uh, definitely the matte coating is visible on the legs as opposed to the original. But both are very nicely done. Now taking a look at Wild Rider. You can definitely see the difference in the, the chest coloration. It uh, appears to have a slight darker shade on the new version. A little bit of rubbing on the, the matte and the silver square in the center of the chest. That's not here on the original. But again, the detailing is definitely more prominent on the new release. Although there are imperfections on both. So for example, here on the, the arm, a little bit of an imperfection, but it's also present there. It's just a, a seam in the joint. Otherwise the red definitely does have a darker hue in the mat. And you get less shininess on the abdomen and legs. One thing I do like is the 
connection here is a improved a little bit. The paint definitely helps hide the, the sprue marks that were an eyesore on the original with the, the coloration being added. So that is much improved. On to dead end. I think this is one example of where the matte finish helps the detail stand out. Looking at the two figures side by side, the coloration difference on the legs, especially with the detail, has more definition. You've got less shininess on the thighs, everywhere else to be honest. Uh, silver or chrome stays the same. A little bit of a darker tone to the chest because of that matte finish. And overall the yellow just has a flatter look to it, which allows for more definition. Head, I feel, is exactly the same though. With dead end, on the chest, we can definitely see that there's a little bit of a darkness, darker shade to the gray used along the rib cage, I would say, and the, the chest piece. A little bit of an imperfection right there underneath that tab, but that's where I'm going to put the sticker anyhow. So that's not a huge difference. But the biggest and most obvious difference is the coloration change. Again, more of a, a matte pastel coloration to the, to the red and darker on the original. So both look fantastic, but I'm leaning towards this guy just because that color difference in the matte, again, just helps bring out so much detail. So like in the arms, the ribs on the forearm is an example. The, I'm just, I'm blown away how the matte coloration just brings out that detail so much better. And that brings us to Motormaster, my favorite of the bunch. Obvious is the lack of paint on the windows in the lower panels. I don't know why that decision was made, but it, it doesn't bother me, to be honest. Um, also, silver was used to trim out the windows on the original where on the matte version, it's more of a charcoal, not as bright, not as obvious, which is a subtle difference, but it's, it's nice. It's, it's really good. Difference in purple on the leg, brighter and more pastel and matted on the, on the new version. Again, the, the matte coloring allows for less visible um, imperfections as on the original. A lot of people had trouble with the, the left leg. Luckily on mine, it came intact. The pins look fine, and um, I've even tugged on a little bit to see if it would break. I'd rather it happen now than later uh, so we can get a replacement from Magic Square if need be, but it seems to be holding fine. It, granted, it is tight. And one thing I do recommend before you make the transformation move this panel into place so that you don't run the risk of it blocking that pin. But otherwise, it looks fantastic. Face definitely has a little bit of a different hue on the pink. Purple is lighter by that shade we were discussing, but the matte finish on the arms definitely allows for Again, more of the detail to come through. It's hard to show with this lighting, but... Let's see if we can get focused in on that. Yes, it, the, the detailing is definitely a lot more visible on the new version as opposed to the old. So, I gotta say... Despite the missing purple on the legs, which I don't mind, I think it looks fine. Um, I'm leaning towards the matte version. Here we have the two Wild Riders. The most obvious difference is the lighter color gray here. 
Uh, also a, a brighter red use for the windshield and windows and along the trim. That's the majority of the differences. You can see on the back, the darker color becomes more apparent, especially with the, the color of the feet, which are actually different on the original. So non-matching colors gray, but here on the, the matte version, they're the same. So it's nice that they were able to fix that. Moving on to breakdown. Uh, the most obvious difference is the more solid color in the, the light gray, white, whatever you want to call it. Uh, you don't have the very, very present blue like you had in the original, which even goes down along the back. The color is a lot more crisp, if that makes sense. And then the blue is a deeper blue, and it's done better on the, the matte version. And the red feels a, like it's been, it's done better also. Uh, so overall, the paint scheme on Breakdown is definitely an improvement over the original. The color differences is most obvious with Dead End. Uh, definitely the matte color is changing that to a a more pastel maroon than what we got with the original both look fantastic and i do enjoy the the brightness of the the matte version if that makes sense it is a nice change but both are truly amazing looking other than that a little bit of a lighter colored black matte black on the windows but that's about it as far as the differences once again drag strip probably shows the least amount of change as far as color but again the matte finish does allow more detail to come out so for example you can see in the venting a lot more detail as opposed to the original that brings us to motor master very very subtle differences a little bit of a, a brighter headlight the purple is definitely the lighter tone, lighter shade. And then coming to the side, it's hard to, to make out, but the, the wheels have actually been painted in a brighter silver instead of the charcoal gray. So overall, the differences in alt mode are definitely more visible than robot mode. Some may say that it's difficult to tell the difference. It is in some cases. As far as coloration goes, it's very, very similar. Just some minor changes. But the matte version does, as I said before, allow for more detail to be visible. And it just feels as though visually uh, they stand out a lot better. And that brings us to tune combined mode. And I have to say, combined mode really is where the differences are most visible. Uh, looking at the matte version, you can see the coloration difference in the gray. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit on that just to make it a little bit more clear. So it is lighter, and to me, it just it looks as though the detail pops more with the matte version. Another major, major difference is the coloration of the purple, and that's throughout. So you can see the darker purple on the original opposed to the more matte and, again, for lack of a better term, pastelish on the feet. But some other differences that are very, very nice. Uh, you've got the more apparent purple on the, the crotch cover, where this just has a simple purple tint. 
it's very 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 purple on the new release uh, the lighter shades of purple throughout including the hands legs looks fantastic uh, dead end you can really see the difference in color here but for all of the bots even on the back they definitely stand out more in my opinion anyway so again gone is the the breakup of the grays in the original the visible blue on the roof it, it, it in my opinion it just it adds to the detail but let me know what you think in the comments and lastly here we have the matte version of the release in the toy mode I'm not gonna do the other one just because it it involves unscrewing and I didn't like doing it in the begin to begin with so uh, loving the the silver pauldrons on his shoulders they look fantastic nice change to that and uh, the the matte finish does add the ability to see more detail in the chest with the black plastic as well as on the waist I think that it looks really good. Let me know what you think in the comments, but no articulation lost with this mold or with this version. It looks great. Uh, even the, the brighter purple on the feet really, really stand out. All right, so final thoughts on the set. Is it worth it? That depends. I know the individual sets are hard to come by nowadays. Um, that or you're going to play a you're going to pay a very substantial late fee. It is nice that Magic Square released this box set. So if you're looking to get the figure and you don't have it yet, by all means, I do recommend it. If you already have the set of originals, the differences, in my opinion do not justify making the purchase now that being said i wanted to have another set to be to begin with so i'm very happy with my purchase so it's up to you the articulation for this bot is fantastic the same issues are present so cars easily falling off is a problem uh, you'll be you'll be putting a car back on anytime you try and manipulate one of the limbs. It's just the nature of the figure. Nothing's changed there. There are QC issues that are a concern. A lot of people have had uh, Motor Master's leg break off in Magic Square. Unfortunately, they're telling them that they're going to have to wait about a month for them to make more. So I do feel that uh, that's an issue that could have easily been identified before the product shipped. That being said, at least they're making they're taking steps to address the problem. I got a good copy. I was lucky. Uh, very very minor QC issues on mine. Uh, just a few a few scratches, no breakages. So I'm extremely happy. But again, whether or not you need it, it's up to you. I got mine directly from MagicSquareToys.com. Uh, check them out. They've got a great selection of bots that they've reissued for those that are just getting into to collecting legends well worth the visit but if you haven't already please like the video subscribe to the channel and get your bell on so you get notified of future content thank you for watching and i will see you again next time